Hello my lovely crafters, this is Crafty Sue 519 welcome to my channel and to all my returning subscribers, thank you, thank you, thank you, love you very much and to anyone who may be new to my channel, welcome, welcome, so happy to have you here and I hope you enjoy what you see. Alrighty, now today's mishmash, what do I have? I have one, two, three happy mails. I have cards that I made, and that's about it. I did not spend any money this week. I have no hauls. Ah, can you believe it? I'm proud of myself for that, though. I didn't want to spend any money. So let's see what I got in the mail this week. I got this lovely little card from Connie from... Connie's this and that. It's a thank you card for entering her challenge. And it says, Sue, I wanted to thank you for entering my birthday challenge and the beautiful things that you sent to me. It made my 60th birthday very special. And thank you for supporting my channel, your YouTube friend, Connie. Thank you very much, Connie. I really appreciate that. You certainly didn't have to send out a thank you card for entering your challenge. I was very, very happy to do so. And then I got this other pack in the mail, which really surprised me. Definitely was not expecting this. This is from Linda Bedinger. Linda is a stamping up demonstrator that I watch on YouTube all the time to get ideas. And I just really enjoy her. Um, she recently lost her husband of 40 something years and naturally she has been quite devastated by it but I put it in a little order with her as kind of a support last month and um, for doing that she sent me a little note it says hi Suzanne thanks so much for your order in September enjoy Linda and she sent me some of this real pretty glitter gold it's almost gold silvery the color of it it's hard to see on camera i'm sure but it's very pretty and there's two sheets of that in there and then she sent me this card that i can use isn't that pretty she's such a good card maker that's all she does once in a while she'll, she'll do something other than a card but she's primarily a card maker I think this is so pretty. I have no idea what paper this is, but I love it. And it says, friends make the good times better. And then that, I, this opens this way. And it's got this beautiful paper here. And it says, in the hard times easier. So it'd be, friends make the good times better and the hard times easier. And then it opens again. So you can write your little message. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. I don't think Linda watches my videos, but thank you so much, Linda. This was a, a surprise and certainly not expected after everything you've gone through in these last few weeks. Touched my heart though, it truly did. And then I got this big packet. Look at this washi tape, how cute. Look at all the little animals on it. And this comes from my good friend, Carla, who is, oh gosh, I can never remember, Sassy Crafter Kalita L on YouTube. And let's see this. I wasn't expecting this. She said she was sending me tea. I got a whole pack from her. Excuse the crinkle. Paula is a, <laughs> she is a joy. I just love her. Uh, if you don't know Carla, you have to go over and check her channel because she's something. She is something. A pretty fall card. This is not like her to make fall. She doesn't like fall, unlike me who loves it. This is the most beautiful season of all. And she said, more tea in here. 
glazed lemon loaf and wild sweet orange. Yummy. I love citrus. Alrighty. Cute card with the deer. It says, hello, Suzanne. First off, this card was made by... <laughs> This card was made by Annie of Annie's Creates. Oh, <laughs> that explains it. I wanted to share it with someone who loves fall. Okay, that disclaimer is done. <laughs> She's so funny. And I can move on. I picked this up at the thrift store because I thought I could use it, but when I realized it was a complete kit, I knew I had to pass it on to you. However... However you put it to use, I hope you enjoy it. And I know you'll make some gorgeous items. Love, Carla. Uh, P.S. More tea to come later. Oh, gosh. This girl has more tea than public supermarket, honestly. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh, this is an Annie card. Well, Annie, very pretty. I love it. Love it. Love fall. So here's more teas. And I guess this must be, it is, it's a card kit. Card maker, kid of the month club. And it's all butterflies. No wonder she thought of me. Let's see if I can get these teas off. Cranberry, lime, honeysuckle. Mmm, that sounds good. Strawberry, lemon, orange blossom. Oops. Calm Buddha. And hibiscus tea. Wow. Awesome. Definitely will try one of these on Tuesday. Let's see what's in this kit. My goodness. It is a whole kit. This is envelopes, I mean uh, card bases, pretty, pretty green, my favorite color. So they have green and like a off-white card bases, cool, oops, butterfly got away. And it has these gems, these flat back gems you can put on the butterflies, I guess. Make great little bodies. Cute little ribbon. Is there a ribbon, green and blue. My grandsons would love this because they're colors. One is green and one is blue. And it has a little stamp set. And it says, Sadness Flies Away on the Wings of Time. And this one says, may love, time, and memories soften your sadness and bring you peace. Well, reading that, I'm guessing this is a sympathy kit. With deepest sympathy, yep. Sadness flies away on the wings of time. You're in my thoughts and prayers. So I'm looking at this and I'm wondering... because there are two pages. I think you can put these on top of one another, kind of like a decoupage to give them some, some depth and texture. I'll have to play around with these, but aren't these pretty? These are, you know, just cut pots in it. I'm trying to see. They're almost like vellum. <laughs> not but almost hmm interesting 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 what do we got here we have more butterflies here okay no sentiments on these so I can do what I want with that and there's more paper different pieces of cardstock quite thick nice off-white Dark blue, plain white, and a green. Very nice. Oh, and then we have some envelopes. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, eight. So I guess you able to make eight cards with this kit. Thank you, caller. I really appreciate this. And as soon as I'm done with all of my obligations, I'll have to play with it. Love it. Isn't that sweet? Don't want to lose my butterfly here. Put you here so you don't fly away on me. It has a little booklet with it that most likely has instructions and stuff. Isn't that pretty? Those butterflies, I'll tell you. Those butterflies. I, keep, I have a little thing over here I keep my teas in. Very pretty. Love it, love it, love it. <sighs> Thank you very much, everyone. I, I really, really appreciate you sending that to me. So nothing like going to the mailbox and seeing a card or something from, from someone when you don't expect it. Very nice. I'm having a major allergy attack right now, so if you hear me sniffling, I apologize. My eye's so itchy. Ah. Lately, I've been on this kick doing this technique called Joseph Coat Technique. And it's where you sponge color onto a piece of paper and then you stamp designs with Versamark and then you emboss with clear embossing powder. So it's hard to see when you're working with it because it's just a clear image on here. And then you take a very dark color ink like this black and you put it all over the whole card or piece of paper you're working on. Everything is covered in, in that dark color. And then you take a paper towel and you rub it all. And because these are embossed, it does not hold the color of, of that dark ink. So it rubs off. And then the card comes alive with all the color that you put underneath it. Isn't that cool? I love this. I made two others. Just a little butterflies inside. I made two others. They're birthday cards. Today is my son's birthday. And I made one for him, but I already have it in the envelope, so I can't show it to you. But I do have it up on Instagram. And I also made one for Sheila which she should have received by now because I mailed it on Monday. <laughs> Excuse me. Allergies. But I've just fallen in love with that technique. It's a, it's a lot of fun. It's different and a lot of fun. So, I was at, and this was a while ago, it wasn't this week. I bought this cardstock at Office Depot, of all places. And it's all like um, neon colors. See how bright they are? They're so awesome. It's really a nice cardstock. It says it's 65 pounds, but it really feels a little heavier than that. And I hadn't used it. I hadn't used it. So what am I gonna use all these crazy colors for? I bought it because it was $2. $2 for 125 sheets. It's only, it says 65 pounds. I don't know. I thought it felt really good when I made cards with it. But I love it. I, I love to play with bright colors. Look at that yellow. Woo! That shines out at you, doesn't it? But anyhow, it was such a great deal. Two dollars. So, I did make lots of Halloween cards this week. Lots. Lots. 16, to be frank. 16. And I'm going to be sending these out to some of my friends here. So we have this one and this one. I'm going to go quick. This one. This one with the green neon. This is the orange neon. A green neon again. And some is not the neon colors, but this is the orange neon. So cool. Quick, quick. 
I'm not even looking to see if I'm in frame. Sorry if I'm not. Little kitty one. Little doggy one. They cute. Cute, cute. And these were very, very, very simple cards to make. I took scraps of leftover um, Halloween paper and just layered it. Just layered it and then put a little something in the center. Just very simple, just so I can send out a little card to some of my subbies. And that's it. That's it. So today, as I said, is my son's birthday. He's 41 years old today. He's my baby. 41. I can't believe it. So I do this thing every year, and I have been doing this for ever, 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 ever. Um, I'm a New England girl, even though I live in Florida. So every fall, I would bake a stuffed pumpkin. I get a pumpkin. There's a particular stuffing I make. I believe it's French from my grandparents, passed down and everything. My family is originally from Canada. So I make that stuffing. We stuff the pumpkin and bake it. And I make pumpkin bread, which I did yesterday. I made two loaves of bread. And I make a bake an apple pie for dessert. So I need to go make an apple pie. I just saw these on my desk and I thought I'd show them to you. These are my failures of that Joseph, Joseph technique. But I thought the butterflies were pretty enough that maybe I can cut them out. I don't know. And then I try to fall one. I just didn't like how this came out at all. And some of the embossing powder probably stuck here. And, but it was a learning curve. And as always, I can't throw anything away. So, I hope you have a wonderful, fantastic weekend. I need to go bake my pie, get the table set, and wait for my son and family to come over. This is going to be his birthday dinner tonight. So, I'm looking forward to it. Brings me back to New England for a little while. Alrighty, ladies. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. And until next time, love yous. Bye.